So that is the effect that we're going to be creating today, and it's actually quite a simple effect to do. So without further ado, let's begin. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is create a new composite shot. And this composite shot can be called whatever you want it to be called, so I'm just going to call mine Tutorial. And I am going to be recreating the episode 4 title crawl, uh, which is 1 minute 35 seconds long so now we've got a brand new composite shot and I'm going to create a new plane layer and I want this plane layer to be black and I'm going to call it plane very exciting name but now I'm going to hit OK and then I'm going to search for the pulp sci-fi title crawl and now if you drag and drop that onto the black plane you will immediately see that you have like a skeleton frame for a Star Wars title. So now if you go into the controls tab and go to the pul pulp sci-fi title crawl effect, uh, you will see that there is a line that says enter your teaser line here. And if you just drag it over that, then you can type something in there. And then the four dots. So I'm just typing out that. And as you can see, that has already entered into the title. You can use the text tools for changing the movie title but I'm going to be using a layer so I'm just going to press cancel and we'll return to that in a minute. As I'm creating the episode 4 titles I'm going to put in episode 4 but in Roman numerals so IV and episode title I'm going to write a new hope. For the text crawl I'm going to click on the A button and then search for the A New Hope's title crawl uh, on the internet. So now I've pasted that in. As you can see, it's just one long string. And if I hit OK and then go ahead, you can see that it's just in one big block. And in the film, it's split up into smaller paragraphs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find where the paragraph should begin. And then I'm going to hit Enter to put it onto a new line. And now if I hit OK, you can see that there is now a paragraph. So I'm just going to do this for the other points. And now I've created the paragraphs to split up the titles. And as you can see, this is looking pretty good. So now we just have to change the title. You can use images and layers inside of HitFilm for the movie title. So what I'm going to do is import an image of the Star Wars logo and just drag and drop this onto the timeline. And as you can see, we now have the Star Wars logo sat on a black background on the project. So now I'm going to right click on this layer and change its blend mode from normal to screen. And as you can see, that's now got rid of the black and it's just left Star Wars. So now I'm going to drag this below the title crawl and hide it. So now I'm going to go back to the title crawl layer and I'm going to change the movie title in the movie title drop down from text to layer. And you can see that has now changed to a layer selector. So now I'm going to select the Star Wars logo. And as you can see that has now imported the Star Wars logo. I'm just going to play around with these settings just to get something that I like the look of.
So we just created the titles from Star Wars um, completely inside of HitFilm Pro. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, then please leave a like and subscribe for more content. Goodbye.